All right, so today we're at, we're at a storage unit, which is kind of weird, but uh, hang on. And then I just built a motor for my dad. He has a 74 Nova that I went through and built a real radical 385 stroke for that and stuff. I put a mother thumper cam in it so it sounds like John Ford. <laughs> <laughs> we have a, kind of a different one for you guys today. Look at this. Look at this. This is at a storage unit. But I've got Adrian here. Adrian, thank you so much for meeting up with me. I really oh, do appreciate it. I appreciate it. you coming out here. No, this is awesome. And so the reason we're at a storage unit today is because uh, they have this room uh, that's dedicated to their, it's basically a man cave for them, uh, him and his dad. And it's like, it's crazy. They've got everything you could ever want in here. And there's plenty of room in here to work. Oh yeah. Oh man, that Mackle box is really nice too. You said that was your dad's? Yeah, that's my dad's box. When uh, I got out of the military and stuff, me and my dad kind of went haywire on going all name brand stuff when yeah. I got out and everything and competition back and forth, so. <laughs> That's awesome. It's hard to tell which one, like, cause I love the, like the candy apple red. Is that what it's? Candy yeah, apple candy apple red. With like the black or like the, the gray with the orange. Man, yep. that's just good all around. But this is, uh, this is Adrian's setup. It's a, uh, you say it's a classic series? No, Master, Master Series. Master Series, Master Series. Uh, and he just upgraded recently from a 56, which is which is sweet. How long have you been wrenching? I started wrenching, I mean, I grew up with my dad wrenching and all that. Yeah. But I never wanted any part of it until I got in the military. Oh, okay. And you either learn how to work on your own stuff or you got the money to pay somebody else to work on yeah. it. Yeah. So I went haywire, started buying all my own craftsman stuff. And oh, that's cool. Going galore, like this box right here. I bought in 2012 when I got back from Afghanistan. I bought the top, middle, and bottom. Oh man, I didn't know you were in the service. I really appreciate your oh, service. Oh yes, sir. That is that is really cool. Man, so 2012. That 2012, is 2012. So that, that box is awesome. has seen some wear and tear. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's still holding up though. Oh yeah, it definitely. So you got a bunch of hammers up here. Yeah. Is this kind of just where you store them? Yeah, this is where I store them. Uh, dead blows, hammers. I mean, if I need to get down to business i always go to my craftsmen <laughs> that's awesome and so where did you uh you say you used to wrench professionally at some point yeah i worked for a bunch of car dealerships out in tooele and oh, cool. uh down south i used to uh do a lot of uh built engine building and stuff for uh top name racers when they come into school we'd go through build the motor some of those motors we were in $150,000, yeah, not more. And so did you go to school for any of that? Or? Yes, I went to school. That's what I was doing when I was down there, was going to school and being around all the professionals oh, and stuff like cool. that. But yeah. I was flying back and forth once a month to see my son. Oh, he was gotcha. under a year when I moved out there. I loved it, but it was so costly to keep going back and forth and everything that I finally moved back here and, and it made him so much happier. That's cool. And, yeah, it's tough. Priorities change and yeah, I, yeah. I don't know exactly what you're saying. So yeah, I mean, it. My son's here all the time. I got a four wheeler I built over there for him. I'm building that's him cool. a motorcycle right now. Oh, that's cool. He has all his toys right here that he likes piling <laughs> up. And... There you go. So do you keep many tools in the in this top box here? Oh yeah, yeah. it's like here's a bunch of engine building tools, like a piston stop. Oh, what? Piston Sorry. stop. What is that for? This goes on your block when you don't have your head on, so you can come up, tap it, then go back around a hunt the other way and spring it back up. And between those two spots is your true top dead center oh, when you're actually okay. building competition engines. Wow. For the green camshafts in, I got the roller on it right now. I got flat tap it. It's like getting into micrometers. There's one of my bigger ones, dial indicators. Oh yeah. These are adjustable push rods. So you can actually go through and when you get your, your motor all set up and everything to set your valve train with the proper push rod length and then uh, 
rocker stops to go through and figure out your geometry on them. And so do you do much engine building anymore? Oh yeah, I got a, a full aluminum 3D3 stroker I'm building back there that I'm in about 30K right now. What? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, and then I just built a motor for my dad. He has a 74 Nova that I went through and built a real radical 385 stroker for that. Yeah. Stuff I put a mother thumper cam in it so it sounds like John Ford. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cool. And then my miscellaneous drawer. Uh, this is one of my go to's all the time for building engines. My dial caliper. So, do you prefer like an analog face? As yes, to, I do. do you? Compared to a digital one, yes. Oh, why is that? Because it keeps me. It keeps me thinking on it instead of getting lazy and relying on a oh, okay. digital to always stay because sometimes they can get, jump out of mm. uh, the alignment and stuff like that. They can jump all around and stuff. That I can always uh, dial in the true zero and I know where I'm at exactly. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. So, and then one of my wrench drawers. Oh yeah. These are all gear wrench. I bought these when Sears was going out of business. Oh, okay. Before I left the service, I paid like 10 bucks a set for them. They <laughs> no were, way. Yeah, they were <laughs> ridiculous. Give, give Same thing away. with the shorties here. Oh, those are nice. And then my dad bought me this for my birthday last year. Oh, sweet. Are those reversible? Yeah, they are reversible. Yeah, they're reversible. Oh, those are sweet. Like coming in here, here's all my uh, torques, my Allens. This is all snap-on. Oh yeah, you got the whole set there. This is all Silver Eagle. Nice. This big old girl. Jeez. <laughs> this goes, I have a 72 uh, custom Baja and everything. This lets me get up and drain the the manual transmission and stuff in it, so. Ah, oh, that's crazy. You got a bunch of cool stuff. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Here's my, uh, they call these torque pluses. They're more round when you're getting into the, like the higher end, ATI uh, harmonic balancers and everything, uh -huh. they require this or you go around that, bolt, the bolts out on it and there goes a $400 harmonic oh, balancer. Oh no, I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. Come down here, this is my electronic drawer. This is cool, I just got this the other day from my Maco guy. Oh nice, yeah, Relay Buddy. Yep. That's sweet. So yeah, I love this thing. Does that test like the like the load side and the like the switch side? Yes. That's cool. My old school Craftsman timing light. Nice. I won't get rid of that for nothing. <laughs> then I ended up getting these not too long ago for like testing your coil packs and stuff on your vehicles. You can put this up to it and it will fire with the coil pack to tell you if it's working properly or not. Really? Yeah. So you just put it on top of the coil? Yep, just put it on top and of the coil. And it like blinks or something? Yeah, it blinks. What? That's awesome. And then this is another one I just bought recently. It's a test light, but there's no ground to it. You are the ground. Oh, so okay, yeah. you can ground yourself and tap whatever you want and it yeah. beeps and flashes. Snap on multimeter, gotta have one of them. Oh yeah. How long have you had that? I bought this like six, seven years ago. Oh, okay, nice. And then these drawers are just miscellaneous. Like all the years, uh, me and my dad worked the salt flats for a lot of years for like speed week and stuff. We, we ran security out there for a lot of years. Stickers that you can't even get no more, like the old school moon eyes, thousands of stickers. Like That's here's so one of my cool. pit passes from 2016. <laughs> And that's so cool. I have these hanging up all across my inside my camper and stuff because that's what I used to take out there every year. Oh, that is cool. Did you ever take any cars out there? Oh yeah, I've taken my Baja out. I've taken toys like I have a, a LA special uh, street bike, one of their pedal bikes. It's all dressed up LA style yeah. with fat tires and stuff. I end up having a custom uh, fifty or forty nine cc motor built for it stuff i paid almost a thousand for the motor Gosh. that motor will get that bike doing over 80 miles an hour <laughs> it's so torquey wow. and so fast that i keep breaking axle shafts on my <laughs> rim so it's kind of down oh until i spend the money to buy a real heavy duty <laughs> rim for it yeah that is funny i have this up here because i have a 60 i'm building up oh dear i love those body styles of trucks and stuff i've ah, seen my so dad cool. build up maybe 50 of them really 
through my years and stuff. And so I love that style. So did your dad have like a shop? My dad worked at shops. He worked at shops. Yeah, right. like out in Wendover back in the late 99s. You know the Sinclair station that was out there? Yeah, sure. My dad was the top mechanic there running all three bays by himself. Really? Yeah. That's cool. He used to have cars going all the way down the street, working 14, 15 hour days, getting them all knocked out. Wow. Gosh. So, yeah. It's... That's cool. And so is all this yours as well? Like you use all these tools? Yeah. So instead of going down to my wrench drawer, we normally just grab wrenches off the wall there. Wow. And so, man, you have like many duplicates <laughs> oh yeah you know, and, oh, and those wow. are all original craftsmen all usa made that's cool it's hard to find that anymore absolutely yeah so this is your your main box here this is my triple main bank. box gosh that's sweet triple bank uh master series how long did you say you had it? i've had it now for six or seven months six or seven oh so not long so Man, not long at all so nice getting into my top right here all my pliers, oh my torque goodness. wrenches. I mean, it's like if you need to really get nasty, check that that big pair. Yeah. I've only it's used them twice. So huge. But man, they have came in handy a couple times. <laughs> goodness. And so you look like you're a fan of uh, the Knipics. Yeah, right? the Knips and stuff like that. Uh -huh. I love them. I started buying them when Sears first started selling them and everything. Oh yeah. And yeah, then I ended it. up. Buying them for my Maco and Snap-on dealers. Oh, I've never seen those before. Are those, oh yeah, like these wire are wire strippers. Yeah, these are wire strippers. This is wow. one of their new designs. That's crazy. So you so, can cut it and then strip it. Yep, exactly. Huh. That's sweet. Getting into some of my torque wrenches. I love this one. This one oh, has wow. been so good to me. Look at that. It's like the black and the high vis. Yep. Oh, that's so cool. I've used that to build motors. Uh, that's actually built a few motors. Did it? Yeah. Man. Is that, so that's a 3 8 then? That's a 3 8 yes. That is awesome. This will cover most stuff all the way up to small blocks. If you got to get into your big blocks and stuff, then you got to bust out the, the half inch. Mm -hmm. But right, yeah. this will do almost everything I do. And this is the half inch? Yeah, this is an old school okay. clicker. Yeah. That's sweet. I mean, it doesn't do the angle set up and all that but i hardly ever mess with anything that big anyway right yeah so, yeah that's sweet so i got my hose clamp pliers oh, those are huge oh yeah i got the big ones going all the way down to the little one nice oh those are tiny yeah that'd be nice tiny. for like vacuum lines and, and maybe fuel like, lines yeah. and stuff like that that's they are sweet. very handy for that and then these i never knew what they were until i ended up finding out a couple months ago they're for getting in and like undoing uh, fuel lines and stuff that you can't get in there with, so you can oh, actually wow. grab them and kind of work the plugs out. That's and everything. cool. Like the like the quick disconnect. Yeah, stuff? that's yep. cool. Huh? Snap ring. Snap ring pliers. Yeah, I bought this set years ago when Gosh. I was in the military. Mac. I love that design because it it just goes straight out. Like, yeah, it goes is, straight out. That's cool. And this, is it, so is this like a set here? Like yeah. This, all these are a set right here. Oh, and these I didn't two even see separate. those. Yeah. Okay, yeah. These yes. ones, the military was throwing away. They were depoting them, just throwing them in the trash. And my, what? My NCO is like, go ahead, take them. Oh, <laughs> like, so, I'll take a pair. Guess oh, what? yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, those I've used multiple times. I've, I've traded in them in multiple times and yeah. stuff. And then these right here is a whole uh, Maco set. Nice. It's so, kind of different. Like, Typically, people have uh, sockets up here. I know, and, sockets. and I've thought about that, but I don't like that. I like keeping this stuff up here. I like keeping my three eighths all together, mm -hmm. even though it makes it a little bit harder when you buy socket sets and everything. Right, yeah. But yeah, I mean, everybody has sockets up here, and, mm -hmm. and I'm just not a big fan of that. It seems like it'd be convenient because, like, you could just you can see everything you have, like. If you're busy and you're like, oh, I need these snap ring pliers, it's like exactly right away. I mean, it's it's harder, in my opinion, to grab the right pliers and everything than just grabbing your right rail of sockets and taking mm, over there. Right. Yeah. Here is my three eighths and my quarter inch. Oh, man. That's sweet. And stuff, man, I love. 
I love my soft grip handles, oh, even though they are so a pain nice. in the butt to clean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they are a nightmare. Oh, man. So is this uh, come with the box? What is yeah, it? that came with the box. It actually goes to this bottom drawer right below it, right here, this oh, first okay. small yeah. one. Uh -huh. But I ended up taking one and throwing, putting self-tappers in there to separate my oh, that's cool. three eighths from my quarter inch. Oh, that's cool. I like because it's not so high that you can still close the, yep, exactly. the drawer. That's sweet. I got my mediums back here, American metric, my two Macos. I love these because how thin the heads are on them. Oh, they sure, yeah. They are heavier than the heck. Uh -huh. But I had the quarter inch one, and I hated that thing. It didn't fit <laughs> my hand right. Yeah. I mean, it's, I got too bad arthritis and stuff mm. in my hands for that to, so gotcha. I like the fatter grips and everything. Yeah, nice. This is something you don't see a lot in people's boxes. They're uh, lock-in swivels. Oh, from that's cool. Snap on. Yeah. Oh, and they're the wobbly. Yup, and they're wobbly. Oh, that's cool. And stuff. It's like I had my Snap-on guy come order these for me years ago, and he's like, "What are you talking about? Here's a part number." So he ended up looking it up. He's like, "Oh." Yeah, we do have them. <laughs> That's cool. See, I've seen these. Like, they have the locking. Yeah. But never the, the wobble head. Exactly. That, is, that those, is crazy. You don't see those very often. Huh. And then, like, these are the wobbly pluses mm -hmm. that you see a lot of people have. Uh-huh. So do you have a go-to ratchet yeah, out of go all these? Yeah, my go-to. Right there. That's my uh, ratchet right that's there. so nice. And it's got the quick release on yep, it. Yep, exactly. That's so when cool. you're getting in tight spots... The sock is actually locked on there and not falling off. Right, yeah. And then here's the new snap-on design. Man, I love these because you can oh. put them in a tight area, break them loose, and you can sit here and turn them back and forth and un That's cool. undo yeah. them. That's awesome. Coming over here to my quarter inch, I mean, of course, you buy one and three <laughs> inch, you got to buy it in quarter. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's my quarter inch lock in one. I love that. Uh like the quick release on those. Yeah, I love sweet. that. That is so handy. Yeah. And then, of course, my hard handles, which I love. It's old oh, school yeah. style and stuff, but they are so much easier to keep clean. Yeah, and exactly. Yeah. Then I got my short Allens over here, but they go between quarter inch and three eighths up into the bigger ones. Oh, nice. Yeah. But they're the shorty, so you can get them in tighter spots. Yeah. I've never seen those. Usually they're like, like an inch high. Yeah, exactly. Huh. That's cool. Going to these old school things, you don't see these much anymore. What is that? This is what the old school uh, holy carburetors and stuff, the screws they had on them. What? And stuff. They, they kind of was a tamper-proof setup, so they didn't work themselves loose. Wow, that's, and there's different sizes, huh? Yeah, they make them in three sizes. Then coming into my half inch. So yeah, I mean, it's between the shallows and then the deeps, and these are the mediums in uh, millimeter. Uh, these things, cool. I have used them so many times, they are so handy. I, yeah, I've never seen like a, like a medium depth, yeah. like half inch impact like that. My, my big oh. snap on, don't play games bar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then this is a cheaper one I bought before I ended up getting into the high quality tools but this is a handy one like if i go on a road trip or something sure. i'll come over here grab my 15 16s for my lugs oh. throw it on there and then throw it in my truck when i go that's a good idea old school titan yeah huh and then of course my medium sized bar oh it's so nice then going into my shorty like a standard yeah oh yeah and then i love this even though it's craftsman but it is so thin it is nice to get into spots. oh yeah that's cool so what's the, like the what's the difference in, oh yeah you can definitely tell yeah. oh that's yeah cool. there's a big difference in them nice getting into my this little shorty's nice for getting into doing harmonic balancers and doing front end work so you're not so deep yeah and i've never used this one i bought it just because i'm like man that is cool i don't have yeah. one of them yet <laughs> that could have been handy so i haven't even bought the adapters and everything in the swivel to go on there yet oh yeah yeah that looks like something that would definitely come in handy oh yeah this is something you don't see in a lot of toolboxes this is actually uh 
a crank socket for a small block Chevy. Uh, Whoa. So you can turn it over, you could turn the motor over, and then when you're building it, when you're going in uh, to green your camshaft and everything, you could put your degree wheel right here on oh. it, screw it on, and set your where you need to go with the grain your camshaft in. So you can put that on even if like the, the harmonic balancer isn't on or anything like that. Yes. That's cool. Of course, I've never used it, but <laughs> I seen them when they first came out and I had to get one. Oh, those are sweet. So yeah, I, I love it. Yeah, I've seen those in a few boxes and like, I can see the utility like 100%. Yeah, but getting I, into tight spots yeah. and stuff like that, yeah. yeah. So that drawer. Like here's for a bunch of my chisels and my punches and my uh, roll pins and. Uh, oh yeah. Nice. So yeah, I mean it's. Is this an impact? Yes, that's an impact. Oh, okay. One. Nice. Snap on. Oh, that's an old one. Yeah, it's an old school. Whoa, one. that I, is cool. I ended up finding that in a unit that somebody cleaned out and they really? left a bunch of garbage in there and they left that in there. Oh wow. And then. My oil filter wrenches, man, they're just so handy. Like this is the one for my my 2008 Cummins out there. Oh, okay. What is that? That is uh, set up for popping your pistons and rods and stuff into your block. Huh. Instead of squeezing it like the old school style, yeah. you put this on there, tap it down a little bit and stuff, and you can just go boom, 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 and pop it in. And it's so much faster, so much efficient. Huh. This is set up for a 430 bore. Wow. So that would sit on top of the block? Yeah, this sets up on top of the head surface. So why would you need that? What what, what purpose does that have, sir? Because uh -huh. you know how when you're assembling a motor and stuff, the rings got to get crimped to go into the cylinder bore. Mm-hmm. Well, look at that. Look how tapered that is. So it oh, starts out wide oh, and goes Oh, I narrow. see, I see. Okay, that makes way more sense. Yeah. I thought it was just like a straight... Uh, no, straight, no. Okay. It's tapered That's properly cool. for it. Huh. And then going down into this big drawer, cases after cases after cases. Yeah. Whoa. You know what that is? That looks like a uh, like a bore gauge. It is. It's that a bore gauge. Sweet. I ended up buying that when I built my motor and stuff, and then I bought this one first years ago. But it's a mill, it's a millimeter one. Oh, so I gotcha. use them on like a European vehicles oh, okay. and stuff like that. That's the one I use for all my standard old school stuff. Yeah, so. look at that. That is cool. Here's one of the things I really love. Like, you see a lot of the race sets and everything, they're made out of aluminum. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. Look at that. That can take a beating. Oh, yeah, that can take a massive beating. Wow, man, it comes with that awesome handle. Yes. That is cool. I ended up getting this for like half price my Snap-on guy worked me out a deal on it. So. That is sweet. And nice. I had a, a aluminum set that after so many years, they just get beat to oh, death yeah. and everything, where this never will. Man, that's cool. Yeah, you could like beat bearings in with that Oh thing. yeah, definitely. My power probe kit down there. Uh-huh. I bought this off the Snap-on truck when it was $119. What is that? It's oh, for all your, square. Yeah. yeah, for all your European vehicles and Volkswagens. Never used it, but I have it if I need. Yeah. yeah and for that cool. price and stuff, I couldn't pass it up. Yeah, that'd be nice for like head bolts and stuff. Oh yeah, definitely. And then coming down here, my small screwdrivers, picks, yeah. air setups, all my razor knives. So is this considered like the speed drawer? Yeah, setup? yep. Like, See, uh, it's yeah. all got the factory set up in there. Uh -huh. And you set it up how you like it. That's cool. This set right here for doing like transmission lines on Ford, Chevys, and stuff, put them around. They got the click style pins on them. Oh, those little, you, put those little clips, little, yeah. Yeah, those are a pain in the butt. Oh, I used yeah. to take them out by pliers until uh -huh. I bought this set, and you just push it in and stuff, and it pops right. That's awesome. Pops them right out. They don't go like flying across the shop? No, <laughs> yeah, that That's flying awesome. and trying to find them when you don't have spares. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Be stressful. <laughs> what is that? That is for actually when you're doing the uh, AC unit. If you bend some of the fins on there, you can go through oh, and straighten the fins that. out. That's cool. Huh. I'm coming down to my wrench drawer. Oh, man. You got a ton of wrenches. Oh, yeah. Man. Oh, Justin. 
Those are sweet. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut oh, you no, off. They're just so, sh fun. so shiny. They're like, man, oh, those, yeah. those are nice. Oh, yep, sweet. they are very nice. Like, see, I had one of these. You can see how old school that one is. I ended up picking this up somewhere. I think I found it in something. Or, man. And it was a 716. Man, this is awesome for header bolts on wow. hot rods and everything. Man, that is old. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Square. So yep. these symbols indicate how old it is. Yeah. That's crazy. Huh. And then these are all snap-on going from 22-inch down to a 7. My American set going all the way up to an uh, inch and a 16th. Oh, those are solid sets. Oh, yeah. This looks like a nice line wrench set. Oh, yeah. I love that set. Dude. Like, I only got them in the standard, uh -huh. but I plan on buying the... That millimeter set down the road. Yeah. Does the flex help, like, oh, yeah. getting the lines and stuff? The flex it? helps a lot and stuff because there's a lot of angles. One of the problems with rounding them out is they're so tight and you can't mm -hmm. get into all of them. With the flex head and stuff, you can kind of bump them and twist them as you're uh, going up. What is this? This right here is a robo wrench. Robo wrench. It's just a cheaper wrench and stuff where it has multiple sides. So you can just put it on uh, stuff and turn okay, it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I like using it for like air tools, man. It's so oh, handy okay. so you're not trying to find the right tool and stuff. Yeah. I had the American and the millimeter. I mean, they pretty much did the same thing. So really? I made my son the American for his little toolbox back oh, there. That's cool. He runs around with it, yeah. pretends to work on stuff. And oh, that's cool. And coming down into my vice grips and yeah, crescent look, wrenches. and Those look nice. Oh yeah, these, I don't use them very often because of the teeth on them. They oh, like to yeah. tear stuff up, Got the but when drive. you do need them, they are handier than heck to yeah. use. And then the ones underneath, or those are just like the- Those are the blue point ones. Oh, okay. And they're just like the solid, yeah, like they're the flat solid. surface. Yeah. Yep. That's sweet. And then this drawer is packed. Goodness. Like, I mean, vacuum tools. Here's a bunch of, uh, Sanding blocks and stuff for doing body work. Oh, yeah. From the snap-on guy. Uh, of course, the hyper steps. Oh, yeah. And stuff, man. Even though you pay out the butt for them, yeah. they are handier <laughs> than heck. Then I got stuff like this in here for machinist work and everything. What is that? It's going in. You can use it for all kinds of stuff. Like, I like using them when you go in there and finding all your, um, your coil bind coil bind uh, and stuff on your head work. And I mean, they are just so huh. useful for all kinds of stuff. So is it just like saying how thick something Yeah, is? just the thickness of the gauge and stuff. Huh. Just stuff I've gotten over the years. That's cool. Indicators. Oh, whoa, that's cool. Huh. And then like this set over here, there's another set. That's awesome. So like if you're setting up a bridge port machine, vertical mill machine and stuff like that, you can use those. You can go in and find true center and before you drill and set up everything for your drilling and all that. Oh, wow. Going to school and learning how to be a machinist tool. I just, I love machine tools. That's cool. And then here's more. Is that, so that's another indicator? Yes. Huh. But instead of going up and down, this one goes sideways. What? Man, that's cool. So yeah, it's, you can never have enough of this type of stuff. Gosh. There's my full snap-on master fuel injector pressure gauges. Oh, and, nice, yeah. For filing down rings, building the motors. Oh, wow, that's cool. You put your ring on there, then you, I have a handle to it and stuff, and you can set your ring up and you can take off so many thousands where you want to be at. So it's a hand crank. It's a hand oh, crank. Oh, that's one. cool. I've built two motors with it so far. Nice. So yeah, just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff I don't use very often down here. Uh-huh. Then coming over here to my air tools. Oh yeah. Like you can see where this got some metal shavings on it. I use those to like port out heads and, and stuff. Like I'm doing a custom port on an intake right now back there and stuff. That's so cool. that's super long shanked. Oh yeah. That's yep. Cool. When you're having to get deep into that runner. Yeah. That's cool. And then that's what I bought this for so I can go in and do it a little easier instead of doing 
so you got more of a grip on them yeah, and everything. Yeah. So do you use air tools a lot still? Oh yeah, I still do? use a lot of air That's tools. That's cool. Yeah, I know a lot of people that are kind of moving towards cordless tools. Yeah, so. cordless are good. I got quite a few cordless stuff, but you can never go wrong with some of your air tools. Yeah. Like that right there, it's so small getting in the spots that it's just handier than heck. And yeah. Yeah, those sealed heads are awesome too. Oh yeah, I love them. That's been such a good air ratchet. What is this? Is this just another air ratchet? Yeah, it's another air ratchet. It's the Mac. It's the thin head, but it got the... Or you can pull out the three-eighths and put a quarter inch in it. Oh, that's cool. It's cool, but it can be a pain in the butt sometimes when you're pulling off extensions oh, and sockets. Oh, yeah. And that whole piece comes out, <laughs> and then you got to spend more time yeah, yeah. breaking them up. But it is a little handy one. I've been using the heck out of it on this. Really? So Nice. And then going down to my screwdriver drawer. Ooh, you packed in there, huh? Oh, yeah. I used to have my screwdrivers in a bigger drawer in my other box, but I didn't want to take up that space when I'm like, okay, I can make this work for now. Sure, yeah. What is that? Uh, is that? Right there? No, no, this guy. This... Oh, that's actually a scraper for, like, doing, a, a, like, cast iron or yeah. stuff like that. I mean, I never use that on aluminum, but <laughs> like Terry, go in there and... <laughs> Scrape that old iron and everything, and clean up the gasket surfaces, and, yeah. and then all the the clip pliers and stuff going in and popping all the plastic clips off. And mm -hmm. Nice. I like that color too. That high vis. I do too. I That's had a third sweet. one, but I think I left it up underneath the hood. Somewhere. Oh no. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> then coming down into my power drawer. Oh man. See, like I, I have the three eight in the this is actually Mako's new design they, it's the silt head oh yeah that's cool and everything from the finium class and stuff man oh man that's how quiet, quiet too yeah smooth and stuff plus look how thin that head is yeah that head is nice for getting in tight spots yeah that is sweet and it's torquier than I mean it's it doesn't have the same power as what Snap-on does that instant torque uh huh but when you get up into the higher torques and stuff, this one will break everything that Snap-on will, and they both struggle about the same, huh. but th how much easier this is to get into tight spots and stuff. Yeah, and I love how the like the switch is down here, so if you ever get backed up to something, exactly. you can still switch and it And it's so there. much e easier after years and stuff, those ones on the head actually start getting rougher, mm, where, yeah. because they get dirty, this one's right here, so you never have to worry about yeah, that. That's cool. I have my three eights on the way. I ordered it at the same time Did I you? bought this one. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, you don't see many people with the Matco. It's usually either Matt Milwaukee or Snap On. Yeah, that's cool that they I, came out with something new. Yeah, I I mean we use a lot of Milwaukee. Like my drill and stuff is Milwaukee. Uh -huh. But I just there's a lot of stuff about the Milwaukee's. I I love them, but I don't like the way they're balanced a lot. There's there's such oddball tools mm. and stuff like that. The balance isn't really there. Uh huh. Okay. Here's one of the new lights that they just came out with. Oh, yeah, the new Streamlight. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. This light right here is handy. Man, put it wherever you want it. Turn it on. Oh, you can yeah. adjust it to where you want to go. It's great for working up underneath the vehicles. It yeah. is so handy. Here's another Mako head unit. That it's for the side. Oh, that for That you can the see side. where you're going. Yeah. Huh, that's cool. So when you're in the tight spots doing electrical work or stuff like that, you can see. Yeah, nice. Snap on, uh, oh, like snap the on camera. Scope, yeah, yeah. Nice. Does definitely. that work pretty good? Oh yeah, definitely. And, and those are originally like, what, eight hundred bucks or something, something like expensive, that. Yeah. yeah, expensive. I bought that off my old Matt Snap on guy for four hundred, four hundred bucks. Oh really? That's cool. Out out the door with taxes and everything. That's awesome. So yeah, that's it for my power drawer. Then coming down into here with more cases. Goodness. That snap-on camera, I bought this at a pawn shop Whoa. Uh, like five years ago, and I paid uh, like 300 bucks for it. No way. Yeah. And it's not the new fancy $2,000 one that right, I have out yeah. now, but that <laughs> thing does everything I need it to do. Yeah, that is awesome. Have you used it much? Not really, no. Huh. But like when I build motors and stuff like that, when I'm going through and... Uh, Figuring them all out and fine-tuning them and stuff. That's what I use yeah. to kind of go through and help with that process. That's cool. Oh, man, that's a huge screen. Oh, yeah. Like, like that's like, 
Is it okay if I take no, it? No, no, go oh, ahead. Man, that's huge. Goodness. The screens now are twice as big as that. Are they really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, these are these are awesome. And it has a few more options, like it will go in and help you diagnose stuff or show you pictures of like if a wire is overheating, how to pick up pick out that wire and stuff like that. Uh -huh. A lot of uh, uh, better software in the new ones, but for two thousand bucks. I'm like, that one <laughs> yeah. does everything. You just got to know more about what you're doing right. than uh, somebody that's just learned it. So is it okay if I turn yeah, it on? Yeah, go or ahead. Try to turn it on? Oh, it's battery. Look at that. That's Man, that's nuts. Huh. That's really cool. My coolant tester right here, the old school style pump. Oh, yeah. It, I mean, you can never go wrong with the old school yeah in my opinion and uh -huh. stuff. i mean it's when you work on so much stuff and over time that new stuff gives out and mm -hmm. stuff where the simpler the simpler the design the longer it lasts right yeah and then like this this is a, a homemade setup like this i got this case from my snap-on guy man like 10 years ago i put all my ac gauges and stuff in there oh yeah that's nice because the snap-ons Unlike the Mako ones and stuff, the Mako comes with cases and they're all fancy and stuff. Uh -huh. Snap-ons, you just literally hang up. I'm like, I don't want to hang them up. I right. want to keep them stored away. Yeah. So he gave me this case and I cut it all out and made that fit. That's cool. I got my, oh, this is one of my new finds right here. Thank you, sir. I'll just set that right yeah. up here really quick. So going through and tracing down AC leaks whoa that's cool instead of paying somebody to do it for me and stuff i'm always one of those that yeah i'll go buy the tools so i spent 1500 dollars to find <laughs> out where my leak was wow did it work oh yeah it worked great oh that's awesome so is the screen can we turn it on is yeah it, of course because i've never seen one with a screen like usually oh, they're yeah. just like this one was a little over stuff. 600 bucks oh man look at that Okay, so now it's warmed up, like you go into your different settings, high, low, medium, you can go in, the, turn on those lights, oh, going through and what? find an AC leaks, and That's it has awesome. a standard lights on it. Come over here, it will give you a whole grid system on, you can move it around and stuff, and it will show you if it's picking up something somewhere, and it will go up higher. Whoa, and, That's so, yeah, crazy. It's, pretty cool so does it still do like the beep like normal oh yeah oh does it yep. that's cool man that's awesome that's like if you're getting hotter or colder kind yeah, of yeah exactly oh, that's cool so yeah it came in handy i i bought it for my own personal truck because my ac was kind of uh acting up and quit on me and stuff so i bought it for my own personal gotcha. vehicle that's cool of course got to have this when you're doing motors a whole leak down test kit oh yeah the cylinder leak down tester yeah i haven't used it yet but i'm i plan on i bought this so when i build my finish my race motor and drops drop it in my truck i have it oh yeah oh so that's like brand new that's brand new yes wow nice yeah i think snap-on probably makes the best leak down yeah, oh, tester yeah. For i sure. totally agree yeah i mean it's like on every motor i built when i was down south We'd go through and do a leak down on, we'd break it in on the dyno uh -huh. and then uh, keep track of our um, our leak downs on the actual dyno machine. And then we'd go in and uh, cylinder leak down test them and stuff to see if they're within the specs that we wanted. Oh, wow. Because we were running all custom pistons, very light tension ring rings in there, the super light duty uh, oil tension rings where there was no resistance. Like... There was one time we put a uh, torque wrench on our, our crankshaft and it took 12 foot pounds to turn that whole rotating <laughs> 12, assembly over. 12. 12 foot pounds. Ridiculous. That's crazy. You can do that with your hand. And then getting down into a bunch of these, tapping high sets. Oh, wow. That's a big one. Yep, that's a big mama right there. Whoa. Huh. Have you I've, used that much? I've used it a few times. Really? Yeah, getting into the super big stuff, so. Goodness. This is the standard. Oh, goodness. That's a solid set. 
Oh, yeah. Man. I figured if if I don't have the right setup, man, it ain't meant to be worked <laughs> on. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Coming over here. I love this thing. This has been so handy. It's a compression tester. Oh, it's wow. the old school craftsman style yeah. that you can get into a lot, a lot of tight spots. It has a lot of stuff the the other kits don't have. And I uh, I thought about getting a snap on one, but the problem with the snap on ones I don't like is the hoses are so thick oh, that sometimes okay, they're yeah. hard to get into uh -huh. places. Where man, these hoses are like nothing. Yeah. See, here's a bearing, rear axle bearing puller. Oh, yeah. I, I bought it, I used it once and haven't used it since. You know, I don't think I've ever seen that set. Usually it's just like the bar and it hooks up to like a slide hammer. Or yeah, like yep, yep, exactly. This is a, a blue point Holy set. Holy moly. Goodness. That thing looks brand new too. It is brand new. Is it? <laughs> I bought it when I first got back out here. It's like a thousand dollar kit. My oh, snap on yeah. guy told me like 700 and something on the special. Uh -huh. And he let me have it off the truck for like 800 bucks. Oh man. And I, I seriously love how all of these just connect to each other. Yup, exactly. Ah, me too. Not holding it like a, <laughs> like a puzzle. But yeah, I mean, it's like, I said and stuff, I normally just work on family and friends vehicles and stuff. Yeah. So this stuff ain't getting used every day. This yeah. is just my passion and my pride sure. and joy. Man, that'll come in handy someday though. Oh yeah. That's cool. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed it. This is, this was different, but super cool. But man, Adrian, I, I really do appreciate you. Uh, let me come out here and look at your box. Man, I appreciate you coming out here and let me show it off, man. That is that is really... You can never get enough talking about tools. Right? So, exactly. Yeah. That is so cool. Man, a lot of history in there. That's yes, there cool. is. Gosh. Well, guys, till next time, we'll see you.